What's up guys, Al here from AM Training. So today is instinct day, day four. And right here I'm doing pause deadlifts and this is double pauses. So I'm pausing on my way up and pausing on my way down. And these are a biatch because my back wants to totally round and I'm trying to make sure that I have a good amount of pauses in between. I'm actually pausing right underneath my knees where I feel like I'm the weakest and trying to explode up. And as you see there, um, my triceps are fully locked. I always try to make sure that it's straight and you can see, I wanna say that's more of a farmer's tan than it is a um, horseshoe there. So it looks like I, I have big triceps. That's not the case. It's really a farmer's tan. It makes it, it makes the shadowing look a whole lot better than it is. So, you know, if you wanna look jacked, go ahead and get a farmer's tan. So I did four sets of five reps with the pauses, with the double pauses on the deadlift for conventional, and I felt like I needed to do more work, so I'm doing kind of accessory work with sumo pulls. I don't really do sumos, I feel like they're super awkward for me, but I think that's probably something that I need to get used to because, you know, if you're, you want to train both your conventional and sumo, and that's probably something that I lack, so in this particular one, I believe I did I think I did three sets or three three or four sets of sumos with 315. Both of the weight was at 315. Try to keep it light, to try to make sure that form was on point. So moving on to the bench press, I'm bench pressing here 250 pounds, three times three times, trying to make sure I have that pause. And I've been bench pressing pretty quite pretty quite frequently. I, I've been benching maybe three times a week and every training period I would bench and hopefully my numbers will go up and my shoulders will not pay for it. Um, I feel they're getting a little cranky. Um, that just might be from all the volume and all the strength because I'm actually doing strength and uh, volume work. So the intensity and volume are pretty high. I pretty much end my uh, bench sessions with rep work or and also um, slingshot work. And speaking of slingshot work, this is my slingshot work here. It's 275. I've been keeping it 275 for a while just because I want to make sure I, I'm proficient and um, proficient and efficient at using the slingshot. And it's been feeling pretty good. Um, I did notice that mostly my hands kind of cock back and I'm getting that um, what Mark Bell would call a gay pterodactyl going on. So let's go ahead and see the final set. All right, so this is the last set I'm doing with uh, the slingshot, and I'm also adding APT wrist wraps, and these are wraps that my brother bought. Um, I usually use my Elite FTS um, ones that are kind of a heavy wrap, but this one is way better. They're way more comfortable. I now know why people use them or why people you know use um, the wrist wraps because they definitely make a big difference in the bench press um, before I, it was really painful these are so comfortable I definitely recommend them and I know I should have spent the extra money as you can see here I'm gonna give you some wise words um, about how I feel about these wrist wraps hell yeah but other than that guys train hard train smart guys